One of the exciting things was that he didn't have that sort of reverence that Americans have for the Kennedys. He's Chilean and doesn't have that sense that they're like his royalty that the way Americans do. And so he was able to approach it in less orthodox ways and be like, it's okay if we make stuff up. We're not trying to make like a documentary. We're making a, a movie and it's an imagination of, of, of who she is. And so we were doing a lot of research and bringing a lot of things in. And I think the, the other, another exciting thing was that he never was like, this is exactly what we're gonna make. It felt like a, a search the whole time. And so everything that we came upon, we could incorporate, you know, he, would find, he found the White House tour and he was like, we're going to do the White House tour, you know. I would find a quote from the book and he, from one of the books I was reading and he'd say, okay, let's put that in. So it was this sort of fluid process. We really know Jackie as an icon, as someone we see as a facade of a person, not as a real human. And this movie gives you that insight into her humanity and what what she felt in a very detailed way, not in any sort of worship, worshiping an idol way. I think it's quite positive about her, but because you see her as a human being, not because you're making her out to be a thing, which of course she was for so many people for so long. It was like the hair, the clothes, the grace, not, not the wit, the soul, the, the humanity. The film covers primarily the days after the assassination through the whole funeral and procession and everything that Jackie organized to memorialize her husband and um, sort of cement his, his legacy as a, as a great president. There's some flashbacks to before everything happened when she's doing the White House tour and um, a few moments during, um, during the, the short presidency of JFK when they hosted parties, concerts, at the, at the White House and, and really sort of made it a, a cultural hub. But otherwise, it, it really focuses on those, those days of shock and, and mourning for the whole nation. The White House being built here in Paris was really incredible because of course from scratch completely from scratch and and they just they have the people who do the carvings and the etchings and the the special kind of painting and the special kind of fabrics that they use it all came from france actually jackie kennedy brought in a lot of these artisans to the white house from france so it was actually appropriate that a lot of the people who still have those techniques and are still able to to do that are here. So it was it was just incredible getting to see what they did and the scale of it all. I think it was a great element to have in the film because it allows you to see Jackie before all this tragedy occurs so that it gives you a sense of the before and after of it. Um, and it also allows you to see her in her element and what she's passionate about. She's so aesthetically driven, like she loves, she really has so much passion for beauty and for, <laughs> and for history and and you just see that that real excitement in her when she talks about every piece of furniture and where it came from and it's 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 almost funny because it's it's so particular it's just such a particular thing about her she has this sort of 
New York accent that's mixed with this finishing school accent. That she says, I rather love this hall. <laughs> you know, the hall is very New York and the rather is almost British. It's a really unusual combination of, of sounds.